Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're going to be playing Poison Storm once again and uh, we're going to be trying a new card uh, that I have not played in a list with this or in a video with this yet and that is Mystical Teachings. As you can see Mystical Teachings is an instant for four mana that can search your library for an instant with flash instant or card with flash put in your hand and then shuffle. It also has flashback for a five and a black. So why is this good? Um, I think that uh, in our deck, one of the most important cards is Weather the Storm, and it's gain three life with Storm. And Weather the Storm, we can't get with something like Merchant Scroll. We end up having a ton of mana, so Mystical Teachings gives us six effective copies of Weather the Storm. Of course, when you once you after you play your four Weather the Storms, you're not going to have any more copies of it, but we need to get it as soon as possible, and we have tons of mana, so I think that this is going to be fine. I found that the deck basically has Tron mana, so we might as well use the awesome card that Tron um, uses to really overpower people. Additionally, with the teachings in the deck, I'm going to be playing two Suffocating Fumes. This is decent versus token strategies. I don't know if there's another instant that might be better. I didn't want to reach out into an off-color in the main deck, like red for Breath Weapon or something. I think Fumes is pretty good, so it also cycles when it's not good, so we'll, we'll put that in the deck. For the mana base here, we have 4 Hickory Woodlot, 4 Peat Bog, 4 Sappers and Scary. These are your depletion lands. They tap for 2 mana, and they have counters on them where they would go away, but with Proliferate, they stick around. Then the rest of the mana base is all islands, and then 4 Lotus Petals. So you see I'm on 18 lands, but really 22 mana sources because they have the Lotus Petals. And then the Lotus Petals plus the Pentad Prisms help you to get colored sources. So we're going to rely on those to cast our off-color spells and uh, work from there. For our payoffs, for our proliferation, we basically have the Everflowing Chalice, which is uh, enters the battlefield with a charge counter out for each time it was kicked, and then you can add mana for each charge counter. So as we continue to proliferate, we can tap this for more and more and more and more mana. So we have that's our huge mana source for the deck. It's all colorless though, so we end up tapping it and then using our... That's why we have so many blue sources, because we want to be able to cast all these spells and using as many uh, of them as possible, where we have tons of colorless and a few blue pips. Pentad Prism is a sunburst, enters the battlefield with a charge counter for every... Um, color of mana, and then you can remove a charge counter to add one mana of any color. So as we proliferate, we continue to get basically free mana. With two Pentad Prisms in play, our two mana proliferate spells cost zero, basically. Or our mana neutral. <clears throat> so the deck starts out by giving each opponent a poison counter with Prologue to Phyresis, which draws a card and gives a poison, or Infectious Inquiry, which draws two cards and gives a poison. And then we use our proliferation spells from Phyrexia All Will Be One, starting with Contentious Plan, which is Proliferate, draw a card. Experimental Augury, which is essentially Anticipate with Proliferate. And then Viz Surgeon's Insight, which is draw three cards and Proliferate. It's a huge spell, it costs a lot of mana. We do sink a lot of mana into it, and it is a little bit weaker to Pyroblast or a Counterspell. But we end up having so much mana that it doesn't really cost us that much to cast this card. And when it does resolve, drawing three is huge. We're also going to be playing... This is just my personal preference to play four or three deep analysis here because each of these essentially draws four cards. So we have 12 cards here to draw and our deck is going to flood out because we have so many mana sources. We have 22 here plus another additional eight. So it's really 30 mana sources, but the rest of the deck is, you know, we have 19 card draw effects plus an additional three card draw effects. That's 22. These could teachings up a card draw effect. So our deck is basically just mana sources and card draw with a little bit of interact of not really interaction, but a little bit of stall tactics here and a little bit of flexibility here. It makes the deck very smooth, so I've been enjoying it a lot, but the problem is that you know we've been losing the red. So we want to have as much early uh, mana as possible. We have as many weather the storms as possible and as many, some suffocating fumes to try to live. I've also found it to be a little bit weak to fairies. But uh, that's fine. There's not that many fairies in the metagame. Over here in the sideboard, we've got uh, three Nile spell bombs. I find it important to be prepared for graveyard-based combo decks like uh, Cycle Storm and uh, Goblin Combo. And then 
For counterspell effects, I'm splitting it between Brain the Ending and Hydroblast. So the reason I want Hydroblast specifically is because decks with red will not only be bringing in Pyroblast, they will also be bringing in Gorilla Shaman a lot of the time. So Hydroblast can stop both of those. And uh, Bring the Ending only stops things on the stack. So it's very good against control, but uh, we have so much card draw that we can kind of overpower them anyway, so that's why I'm okay with cutting down on Bring the Ending. And control decks like Tron will also be bringing in Pyroblast, so we can bring in our full seven cards here anyway. I'm also going to be playing uh, four removal spells, which are Anoint with Affliction. It says exile target creature if it has mana value three or less, and it has corrupted, so you can completely exile the creature instead if its controller has three or more poison counters. So once we poison our opponent, we can just nuke all of their creatures. Obviously we can't recur any of our spells, but that's okay. Then I'm also playing three moments piece, and I'm going to be playing the hot tech here of one Swirling Sandstorm. Swirling Sandstorm is going to just trounce any ground-based uh, deck uh, if we can get it off, and I think we can cast it relatively early and relatively easy with our eight uh, off-color mana sources. And this would be good against terror decks, it would be good against um, walls, potentially good against affinity, so that is why I'm bringing in Swirling Sandstorm. And that's the list. We're just going to try to get into some matches, see how many we can get through today, and then uh, we'll get this full league out for posting soon. Obviously, you're seeing it when it's already posted, so I'm the one that's uh, <laughs> trying to buy, manage my time. Uh, I put up a primer on this previously on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Kalikais for all levels of uh, patrons, and I'm going to um, just make a tier for just fams, just trons, and just uh, poisoners so that you don't have to get the full uh, cyber guide for everything tier, but you can get that as well. Uh, if you're interested in coaching or anything, hit me up. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the matches. We are here in round one versus Adept Terra, and... This hand I'm going to keep. Um, the reason being, this Lotus Petal makes this really good. It's because we can go turn one uh, Pentad Prism into Contentious Plan, or turn one Pentad Prism Augury trying to find specifically a mana source. And our opponent's on the turn one Caretaker, so that kind of sucks for me. Um, I'm going to pass. Playing against walls over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> we could teachings up a... Uh, Swirling Sandstorm, not sure if that's going to be enough. Let's go ahead and Pentad. And then we're going to cast this Experimental Augury here because we need a second land. Did not find a land. Find an Infectious Inquiry, which is okay. Get the Infection starting. And say done. I'm going to pass. We could, um, we could Inquiry there off the Lotus Petal and using the whole prism, but that seems like a very bad plan. They've got their Guardian in play, one card in hand, so did they pick up and return for us? So what we're going to hope for is that they just kind of flounder and don't do anything. Okay, unfortunately I think we have to look for a mana source first. So we're going to Augury, and then we can use, um, wow. Okay, we found a Prologue. Just take the Augury again. Put these back and grab that and play Lotus Petal. We're going to just crack the Lotus Petal to get this Infectious Inquiry off. Draw two cards. Still no mana sources. Problems. We have a lot. I mean, we have one, two, three in the top 15 cards out of 22. A Winding Way. Reveal Caretaker, Alchemist, Freed. So Freed goes to the graveyard. Force goes to the graveyard. We're kind of dead in the water at the moment, though. We don't have any mana. Play the Caretaker, they get the Alchemist in hand, so they can just play the Alchemist, and then if they ever find a payoff, they just win the game, I think. I kind of expected um, Adepto to be on something slow. All right, so I'm just going to scoop, because they have the payoff, and then next turn they can play it, and we can't win by then. All right, we are going to bring in the Bring the Ending, the Anoints, and the Swirling Sandstorm. Cut all the weather the storms. Cut the fumes. Gonna trim on deep analysis. 
So the other thing is, do we want to try to cut cards for the Hydroblasts? I don't think we do. Maybe we can cut one Teachings, but hmm. maybe Teachings is too slow, so cutting them is fine. So what are we going to... We're going to Teachings up and Anoint, maybe. I guess if we want to cut something that's slow, it's going to be the Insight and maybe one Teachings for two Hydros. Just bring in one Hydroblast. That lets me kill a Tug Tuck or whatever. We'll be on the play. Unfortunately, like <laughs> I've said this many times, but this is one of our worst matchups. I'm going to keep this, I think. Play the scary. Hmm. I'll play the woodlot first and pass. I'll play the scary. And then I'm gonna pass. We have the anoint with affliction to kill their wall. We play Aquarian Ranger. We have four mana right now, so we can prologue. And we can kill that wall. Okay, here's a peat bog. It's pretty good for me. Prologue. Cast a pentad prism over here. Done. Let's lotus petal into murder the wall. And pass the turn. They play a winding way. So they were kind of relying on that mana. Find shield wall sentinel. Leave the Stampede, Crimson Acolyte to give everything protection. They find a Leaf Caller, so they have basically infinite of any mana. We have a Woodlot. Ugh. One, two. This is six mana. Here's what we're going to do. Tap, tap. And dead Prism. We're going to use the Prism to cast Prologue. Looking for a um, Proliferate spell. We didn't find a Proliferate spell. Cast Infectious Inquiry. Okay, we have an Anoint with Affliction, so we can kill one of their payoffs again. We now have seven, so we can we have Threshold if we find the Twirling Sandstorm, but what the problem is, we're running out of color sources. Shield Wall. Yep. I'm kind of surprised that they brought in the Crimson Acolyte. I'm playing a red... I'm not playing red spells. I'm going to ask them. Okay. Oh, they said they brought it in specifically for Inside Out. Okay, that's fair. So now they're going to cast the Axe Bane. They still have the Crimson Axe Bane in hand, so that's not gone. Hmm. We have five mana. I feel like I need to just slam a Deep Analysis here. All right, now I'm going to exile this guardian. Pass the turn. Next turn, I can pentad prism into um, experimental augury. <clears throat> that just said that. They appear to be facing a lot of hate, and they don't. People don't want to let them combo. I responded. Hashtag walls go home. We are just losing all of our mana sources. So the plan is to go prism augury. We find a lead the stampede. They cast a lead the stampede. Galvanic alchemist secret door. Casting secret door. Okay. We find lotus petal. That doesn't help that much. <clears throat> Alright. Pent Pent Pentad Prism goes to the battlefield. Alright. Then we cast Experimental Augury. So we get the counters back. We find a Bring the Ending into Teachings and Everflowing Chalice. I guess we want the Bring the Ending, but that doesn't seem that good. We can Teachings for more um, things to do. Like, we can Teachings for an Augury so that we can cast this Rolling Sandstorm. But if they ever get their Protection Creature into the battlefield, it's all, they're, like, totally fine. We can also bring the Ending. We can also Teachings for the um, Removal Spell. That's probably where we want to be. You proliferate over here with this Woodlot. I'm going to pass. Let's see if they can kill me this turn. They play a Battlement. Yeah. Play the Alchemist. They untap their Pilgrim. 
they cast the secret door, or they use the secret door to venture. It would be really, really sick if we could draw the um, Rolling Sandstorm right now. Pete Bog, going to lead on Deep Analysis. Contentious plan. Okay. So I think we play out the second Pete Bog before we plan. We still have four mana. There's the Sandstorm. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're doing it. Goodbye. Yes! <laughs> we did the thing. <laughs> I did have a red spell. <sighs> okay. I can cut the Hydras, though. And then I think I will put the Venusurgeon back in. Cut the teachings for a deep analysis and just try to dig harder. Oh man, this is quite good. We're going to keep. Alright, their turn. They lead on land into caretaker. Go land, pass. Their turn. Play land, pass. Okay. Chalice. Okay. So the question is, do I want to cast the augury or cast the chalice? I think I augury looking for um, some interaction. Find the sandstorm. Guess I take that. Might want to just take the island, but the sandstorm is going to be so much really important later on. So I think I'm just going to take the sandstorm. Have to do your turn. I think it's probably right to. Okay, so they they played a winding way, and they hit leave the stampede forest drift. Not a very good hit for them. Ooh. Okay, so now we play this woodlot. Multi-kicker this, cast the Inquiry, and pass the turn. Next turn we have Experimental Augury to look for a red source, or um, some way to kill their Axemane. Play the Augury. Wait. Cast this with Multi-kicker for one, and then we'll just Augury here, looking for that um, removal spell. Find Teachings. Okay, so I guess we take the teachings in the order. You put some counters. So now we can teachings for the removal spell. Play the scary for more blue sources and pass a turn. Will we be dead this turn? They have two, three, four, five mana, and that means they can use the drift of phantasms. Actually, they only have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have six mana. Shield all sentinel. Okay. They get another axe bane. One, two, three mana. By the Axe Bane. Okay, I'm going to lead off with drawing three cards. One, two, three, and you. So we have four cards in the graveyard. Five, six. I can teachings. Four, five, six. That's hard. My teachings right now for the exile spell. That might be good enough. I think I'm going to play... No, I can't do that. Darn. Looks like we're going to have to cast the teachings. If I had one more blue source, I could get there. I can still cast the teachings off the pedal. Okay. Cast this augury. We get another pedal, or we just get the anoint with affliction. Four, five, six, seven. Take the lotus pedal. You... One, two, three, one, two, three. Done. We're going to go ahead and go pedal, pedal, blue, cast teachings, grab the anoint with affliction, cast a swirly sandstorm. Goodbye to your board. That's a turn. Now we can kill their creature that they play. Whew. Leave the stampede. They find secret door. Jespera Valkyd. You play the Jespera. Just murder it. Use my mana. Alright, five. Let's draw some cards. Land. And then we can go ahead and start pentatting and drawing more cards and giving them all sorts of poison counters. Vivis Surgeons. Draw some cards. Oh, we need another blue source. Okay. Blue. One. Okay. 
throwing dice on my stuff. You're at five, and we will plan. You're at six. So I'm pretty happy about the Swirly Sandstorm. We can go blue, cast Phyresis. Blue, cast Deep Analysis. Another Phyresis. All right, that's it, I think. We can cast another um, Deep Analysis right now. Actually, or we can just uh, Teachings. Grabbing Augury. Let's cast it. They're at 9. Find the Infectious Inquiry, and that will put them dead. You. One, dun, dun, dun. Okay. Got him. Bam. That worked out pretty well. Turn 6. That's still pretty fast. We'll see in the rest of the matches. Okay, round 2. We're here versus Hoku Hawkman. They used to play Tron. We have a hand that's not keepable, unfortunately, so we're going to mulligan. We just have the green source. Here, this is not great, but fine. So I'm going to keep and put back... I guess it's going to be the extra peat bog. And say done. Let's lead on the scary, because we don't know what's going on. Pass the turn. If they're playing Tron, then we want to just develop... Yeah. We want to develop our mana. And play the turn 3 deep analysis plus a peat bog. And then we should be able to find a proliferation. Find the Vivisurgeon's Insight. So we could just draw 3 right now. Seems like a pretty good plan. Do, do, do. Done. And pass the turn. We need to find now a poison spell. Find the contentious plan. Uh, leave on peat bog. Go ahead and deep analysis. See if they unwind it. They're going to lose focus. Okay. Guess we're not going to pay for that. I'm going to Lotus Petal now and cast my Augury. Looking for a poison spell. Did not find a poison spell, but I found a Pentad Prism, so I'm going to take that. And uh, that will give us a huge mana advantage. We pass the turn. I haven't seen lose focus out of Tron. That doesn't seem like a very good Tron uh, counterspell. <clears throat> We play Mold Drifter. Yep. Draw some cards. Pretty fine. We'll go Prism. Done. Cast the Chalice. Okay. And then it looks like we will cast the Insight to draw three. One, one, two. So the thing is here, it seems like we probably want to waste the, the Prism trying to get this uh, Poison Spell off, actually. We could have just not tapped the Chalice and used the Prism, and then had a mana off the Chalice and the Prism. So then the Prism would not have died. Nope. Maybe it would have anyway. We go to 16, the Grotto. So now we have to, we have to cast and resolve 9 spells. They already have Tron, so it's going to be kind of tough. It kind of depends on how much uh, color sources they have. Now they're tapping for blue and a colorless. I think on my next turn, I probably wanted to go a Contentious Plan and Contentious Plan into Vivisurgeon. They get back the Loose Focus, which is definitely not going to matter anymore for us. Because we're going to be way ahead on Mana. Contentious Plan. Poison you. And then we're going to add some Mana. Uh, done. Okay, and we can cast another Contentious Plan. Unfortunately, we don't have the Mana from the Prism. So we're kind of constrained on blue. Done. Let the scary out. Go ahead and cast an insight. Draw three. One, two, and you. Done. And then we can play another prism. So this isn't going to give us blue mana now, but if we proliferate, it'll give us blue mana. Just go ahead and say done and pass the turn. So they're at three. We have to cast seven more spells. Loose focus does not matter. They can replicate it a bunch of times. Still doesn't matter. So for every two mana, we just have to pay two mana. We just have to be kind of conscientious about our ever-flowing chalice. <laughs> I'm going to play the scary out. One, two, three, four, five. Cast this insight and see what they do. They're going to let it resolve. Okay. So we're now proliferating onto everything. They're done. We can now cast another chalice. And then cast some deep analysis from the graveyard. Drawing some cards. 
probably want to pop off a weather the storm so we don't die. Cast an inquiry. Looks like they're gonna lose focus this one. No. Okay. Um Okay. Probably should so it's one, two, one, two. They're gonna tax us a decent amount, but I think I just want to cast a weather the storm. Pass the turn. And then strand that loose focus in their hand. If they tap out, we can uh, pop off our prologue as a one mana. Or, okay, they're going to flicker to draw cards. Sure. Turn off auto yields. Cast this prologue. Okay, we will pay. Alright. We're at 24. We have more Weather of the Storms in hand. I think we just get rid of our depletion lands here. Maybe at least this one. This one. This one. We have a lot of mana. We just want blue mana on the table. Right now we can put them to 8 poison in hand. We know they have flicker in hand. We have more mana than them right now. They play out a Seagate on black. So they're probably going to try to start hitting us with Dinerova Horror as soon as possible. Alright, um... Lead on Contentious Plan to make our mana bigger. We did lose our Prisms, though. They're Impulsing, looking for a Counterspell. <clears throat> did you find a Counter? We have double Teachings. So I think we can just Teachings for... We have Prohibit. Okay. There's a Prohibit. Play this out. Play this Inquiry. Which is 7. Lay another Inquiry. That's 8. Go ahead and Contentious Plan. 9. And you are now dead. They just don't have enough counters in the main deck to kill us. We donk them. Go to 9. We made sure that we actually cast it targeting them, or uh, clicking on them, I mean. And you are dead. Sweet. Pretty straightforward game 1. They just don't have the answers. But post-board, I would have liked to have four bring the ending against Tron, and we just don't. So we're going to be cutting our fumes, and then all of our weather storms. Now the question is, do we cut a Lotus Petal or a Never Flowing Chalice? Um, I'm expecting them to have uh, Artifact Hate, but going over the top of them is really good. We don't really need as much um, mana fixing or speed. I think I'm going to cut the Lotus Petal and say go. Alright, this is pretty unfortunate. If this ever flowing chalice were a Lotus Petal, it would still not work out, so we're going to mulligan. We have a pretty decent hand. Um, I think we just put back the teachings and let them go. We would like a proliferate spell and a chalice or a prism from here. We can't be too picky. Oh, we found the Chalice anyway. Alright, so we'll yield. Looks like they are going to uh, tap out for an Energy Refractor, so we get to resolve the Prologue. They land. Cast Everflowing Chalice with Multi-Kicker 1. Yep. And then we just draw a card and begin the Poisoning. Pass the turn. If they tap out here, I think it would be a good turn to play the Vivisurgeon's Insight, but they don't. So we can play the Scary and then end step the Phyresis when they tap out to cast an Impulse or whatever. Cast an Impulse, draw a card, pass a turn. We highly suspect that they have Pyroblast based on their land being on red. Now they have Tron mana. So we're looking for a Hydroblast here, or we can just keep developing our mana and passing. Eventually they'll have to tap out and then we can start re resolving spells. The Teachings are going to get another Counterspell. So they have at least one Pyro in hand, probably two. They have a second Teachings. Uh, here, as Piotr Pavel said, these Vivisurgeon's Insights are super bad in this position against Teachings, so we have to save them quite a long time. Now they're considering, can they tap out? Right now we have 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11 mana. They play a Seagate on black. We have Pentad Prism. I'm going to cast the Pentad Prism and pass the turn. I kind of feel like they're going to Teachings for an Ancient Grudge and then wipe out my Artifacts. They just Teachings for Teachings. We're going to pass the turn. 
Let them know that I'm F6. It's fine. The Jukabog, and that does nothing. They still decline to tap out. They've got teachings in hand. We have another insight. Don't think we can resolve any of these right now, so I'm going to pass. I think this game has just gotten away from us because they're just too fast, and we didn't have uh, early proliferation. So is there anything from the sideboard that we can do? Don't think so. Nothing really would have mattered. They're just going to sit on 8,000 counterspells. All right, so they have in hand Fire Blast and Prohibit. They crop for another Tron piece. Cast another Mystical Teachings. For another, they're on three Teachings. Must be nice. They're on uh, eight mana to draw two. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. I think this card is terrible. Uh, it's kind of terrible, but it is pretty good in this position. <laughs> uh, go. So we're looking for, I guess, more like DA in hand. In bring the ending is good. This is this is a pretty decent hand. Oh, I almost clicked that. Play Woodlot and pass. Woo! That was a close one. So now we have an option to try and um, counterspell their turn to Refractor. But I think it's too risky. And we're just going to Contentious Plan, draw some cards, and get our counters back, and then have up our Vivisurgeon to Insight. So we can cast that if they do nothing, or if they tap out. And if they do nothing, we have the Bring the Ending to counter like an impulse. Looks like they're just going to play mine and pass. We have an infectious inquiry. Alright, so what do we do here? I'm going to try to cast the inquiry. That resolves. So now I will develop my mana for a few turns while countering their spells. Counter your impulse. Usually for Tron, the end step impulse means they're looking for something. So I like to counter it. Pass the turn. All right, they play a campus. We play scary. All right, I think I pass. Next turn we have six mana, seven mana, but we really don't want to use the Pentad Prism at the moment. If they go for the crop rotation right now, I'm going to cast the Brain the Ending because that will make them tap out. If they go for a Mold Drifter, I will also cast Brain the Ending, but I could also I could just save it. Looks like they're going to not be greedy. Okay, we have a, some good options here. I can play Scary. I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to end step the Augury for, on their turn. Let's cast Experimental Augury here. They're going to counter it. So we will counter their crop rotation. Pass the turn. They play land. Okay. I'm going to play out a Nile Spellbomb. <sighs> I don't really like where I am right now. They're going to evoke a Moldrifter. I think I have to say okay. They play Thornwood Falls. Pass the turn. We have double Pentad Prism. So, hmm. I'm going to pass one more time. I'm going to go for the end step teachings. Trying to get a Hydroblast. Play a Mold Drifter. Okay. This is a problematic point where we... Maybe if we Teachings, we should Teachings for the Augury. Cast Teachings. Because if Augury resolves, we're in a really good spot. We can cast Augury off the two lands. They're going to Pyre Blast the Teachings. Okay. I'm trying to think if I can do anything good here. Prism. One. Play a second Prism. Try casting Insight. Yes! Okay. Now we are in business. Done. Play this Peat Bog. Now I think I'm going to cast the Pentad Prism again. And we're passing the turn. They're going to Impulse, looking for something good. Now it's our turn to hold Teachings in the graveyard. But we have, we have four Prisms in play, so we really need to be able to resolve um, some sort of proliferate spell, and if we do, we're going to go off really hard. They go with Gorilla Shaman. Okay. They It costs them five mana to blow up one. So I'm going to go with Black. Spell bomb you. We find a Teachings. Two. Okay. 
That resolves. I guess we have to just pass. That's annoying, but they feel so smart. So smart with my Gorilla Shaman. Uh, that really sets us back a lot, though, unfortunately. Energy Refractor, so they tap out. We can teachings for Hydro Blast, kill the Gorilla Shaman. It's annoying. Or we, yeah, teachings. Hydro Blast. Murder that thing. Pass the turn. We take two. We only have one Hydro Blast left on the deck. And they're about to play a big giant in Robo Horror, and we're going to scoop the game. That was unfortunate. So, basically, we lost because we are playing Bring the Ending now over... Uh, I mean, Hydro Blast over Bring the Ending, but the we got we floundered a little bit. We did win game one. Oh, well. We'll go to game, we'll go to match three. So, in match three, reverse He Who Is in the Water, who's been playing Cold Delta Red. And, uh... Probably going to have a hard time ahead of us. So we can turn to an Inquiry off the Woodlot and the Lotus Petal. And try to draw into Weather the Storms. Play the Woodlot and pass. Pass the turn. They may be on more prowess build. builds. Find a Weather the Storm. I think I'm going to still go Lotus Petal into Inquiry. Scary. Pass the turn. If I find a proliferation spell, I'm in a pretty decent spot because I can proliferate into Weather the Storm. If I don't find a proliferation spell, I'm in a pretty bad spot. Or I have to do like fumes into weather. They're leaning on a synthesizer. And the synthesizer is going to hit a great furnace. Which they're going to now chain lightning us. And then lightning bolt us. So we'll be at almost zero or zero. We're at two. Unfortunate. All right, we're going to have to just scoop it up. We went to... We took 16 damage on turn 3. Pretty nice. Easy day for them, really. We're going to bring in the Sandstorms, cut some uh, more expensive stuff. That's the turn. Maybe the Chalice. I think we just have to cut these Insights and the Teachings. But the Fumes did not seem very good, so... Let's do this. I don't know if they're playing... Uh, Cold Oath or not, but it didn't seem like it. Okay, here we go. We're on the play. We have green, blue. We have a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to lead on this scary, I think. Pass the turn. Then I'll play the woodlot and then pass. What? Turn one Swiss Spear? That's so crazy. How could that happen every single time? I knew it would. Actually, I should yield until here. So they're attacking with the Swift Spear. Alright, they play an Epicure. So maybe they are playing the... the uh, what's its faces? Okay, so we're going to take the Weather Storm. And then get some mana. Play out this. We can go... Play this Chalice. Oops. Cast a Multi-Kicker. One. We're going to... Everflowing Chalice into... Lotus Petal into Augury into Weather the Storm. In the next turn, we can cast a Vivisurge's Insight and hopefully do some stuff. Off the Augury, we're basically just looking for more Weather the Storms, I think. Cast Experimental Augury. Weather the Storm. One, two, three, four. We have a lot of mana for the next turn. Cast Lotus Petal. And then we're going to gain 12 life. Your turn. Our opponent's going to lead on the Experimental Synthesizer, so they have only one land. Cold Oath Rebirth. Okay, good to know, good to know. So they just had an interesting draw. I haven't seen a lot of... Um, we're going to go like this. Cast the Insight. Draw some cards. Alright, that's kind of what I expected to happen. I'm going to simply cast contentious or the Infectious Inquiry here. Looking for a blue source. We didn't find it. We're going to pass. Next turn, we have a lot of stuff going on, because we're, we're going to be able to chalice, chalice, uh, contentious plan. We're going to do some stuff. They're playing red-black. What? Oh, maybe the Dross Forge is just like a random artifact land. Okay. Cast with multi-kicker one. Cast with multi-kicker one. 
And then tap this, tap this. We're going to contentious plan. You, all of these things. Done. We have another blue source, which is good. So we could want to... So I'm going to try to cast as many spells as possible, I think. So I'm going to inquiry. Draw some cards. Draw some more cards. And then... Looks like we're just going to weather the storm. That's the turn. Holding up Hydroblast. Now I don't feel super afraid anymore. We're at 37. Galvanic, okay. I think I am going to... Should I counter this? I think I'm just going to Hydroblast destroying the Swift Spear. Because I think I have, I have two ways to wipe the board now. Especially if I just draw the Fumes. And I have a lot of uh, life to work with at the moment. There's a Swirling Sandstorm. So we're going to lead on this insight. You. They scoop it up. Too free. Not really. It was not free at all. So we know that they're on 1-1s one -one now. So we're going to bring back in the fumes. And I'm going to cut one of the deep analysis. That's going to be about it. Okay, so this is not good enough. It's really close. If this were an island, I would feel okay about it. We're going to mulligan. And we have to mull again. We're going to mull again again. They mull the six and uh, keep. We go to five. We're going to keep now. Putting back the inquiry and the prism. Scary pass. We're probably going to have to augury looking for a land. They go for epicure. Find a contentious plan. So what happens if they pyro us here? That would be terrible. Well, I could Everflowing Chalice and then lose the land next turn, or I could run into a Pyro Lots right now. Okay. So I guess I'm taking the Chalice. Well, we'll take the Fumes in case we can get there. We need a Lotus Petal or something. They discard a Galblast. Synth into Synth. Let's see, hopefully they whiff on lands. They hit a Chain Lightning. But they have the land anyway. They whack us for three. Say no. Augury looking for a land. We find an island. The order here. Done. Island. Okay, pass the turn. We're getting closer to living. We don't have any weather the storms and stuff. Play another synthesizer, which is really scary. Can't really do anything about it, though. I don't even know when I'm going to try to counterspell. Shattering Blow doesn't do anything. Chromatic Star. Okay. We just have no threats right now? Interesting. Epicure. I guess I Hydroblast it? Alright. I'm Flowing Chalice. And then we are going to cast Deep Enough, or Contentious Plan. Looking for pretty much anything. Pretty much anything. An Island is good though. We're going to pass the turn. And pass again. They have the Shattering Blow. They were just holding that in hand. They're like, I'm the control deck. I'm the control deck, I say. <clears throat> okay, good for you, my man. Let's go ahead and deep analysis. Scary. Pass the turn. Definitely a frustrating situation for me to be in. Also for them, it seems. They find the Swift Spear. Because, of course. Can you tell I'm salty? All right, um, this is five, this is four damage, so we dive to two, to two spells. <sighs> what a bummer. We're going to just insight here, proliferate a little bit, pass the turn, pass the turn again. They have a cold Dotha, and what do they hit? So right now they're at, they did not hit anything good. Oh man, so you're saying there's a chance. Oh no, I forgot they had another one. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a blowout. Can we live through this? Holy moly. Whoa. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Untapped source would have been great. Um, Island. Cast the Pentad. Done. Cast the Pentad. Tap, tap, tap. No, one tap. Green. Red. Cast Swirling Sandstorm, holding priority. 
Cast Weather Storm. Pass the turn. Boom! We did it! <laughs> that feels really good. Uh, okay, prologue. Land. Try to draw some more cards. Uh, pass the turn. Really need to draw into Weather Storm, but we we did the thing. Feel very very happy about that. Okay, we have a Lotus Petal now, so we probably won't die to this stuff. Cast Deep Analysis. We find a Contentious Plan. So we could Contentious Plan right now. I really want more Prisms. Probably worth it to get the Contentious Plan going. You get a, you get a counter. All right, draw a card. Find an Insight. Let's play the scary. We're at three. I'm going to play the scary and pass. That lotus petal represents weather the storm right now. They're going to bolt into Koldotha. So it's our turn. Find an augury. I'm going to try to augury looking for a pentad. Find a lotus petal and a peat bog. I think I take the peat bog. Uh, get some counters on my lands. And you, done. Play the Peat Bog. Go ahead and uh, draw a bunch of cards. You, everything else, done. And let's Deep Analysis. Kaboom, draw some cards. And then go ahead and cast the Weather the Storm. Woohoo! Pass the turn. And they have given it up. Ah, the plan was good. I cannot believe that was that was such a blowout. Unreal. At the right time. Okay, it feels good. We beat, we beat Red once. We lost to Tron. I'm not sure if uh, Hydro Blast was the best or not. It was okay. I think the plan overall was good, but Hydro Blast may not be where we want to be as far as this this matchup. Uh, Hydro Blast does seem good against Gorilla Shaman, though. All right, we'll see you in round four. We're here in round four versus Live One on the draw. They're a confident walls pilot, and they've also played a lot of blitz, a lot of red. So we're expecting them to just play a fast deck. That's about it. This is not a fast hand whatsoever. Um, we have green. We have infectious inquiry. I think, I think we're going to mulligan. I'm going to keep this. This is a turn one pentad prism with uh, a bunch of proliferation backup. Let me keep this. I'm going to put back the deep analysis. So they're on walls, or stompy. Play the pentad prism, pass the turn. We want to be able to make a land drop this next turn. Play overrun battlement, and as I thought, they're on walls. So now we can get a pro, uh, poison counter on them, pass the turn. We can blind draw into augury, they cast Lead the Stampede, so they are still a couple turns off. They find Caretaker, Axemane, they play Caretaker. We go for the Contentious Plan. Counter, counter, done. And then play another, play the uh, Augury. Find a Woodlot and an Augury. Woodlot's kind of slow right now. So maybe we just take the Augury. You, this... Done. I'm going to pass the turn. If I didn't have had not made a land drop this turn, I would have taken the woodlot, I think. We're likely just going to die. They play the Axe Bane. I seriously do not understand why people are playing walls. Interestingly, they have the Leaf Caller, but that doesn't matter that much here because they already have the Axe Bane. Uh, we're going to Augury, looking for a land. We find Pentad Prism. Or Peat Bog. Pentad Prism's probably better for us, but we can't use it very well. All not very good for this specific turn. Guess we'll take the Peat Bog. I mean, we're probably going to die, as I said. Play the Peat Bog. And then we can go ahead and uh, Infectious Inquiry now, because we can hard cast the Insight the next turn. Pass the turn. If they play like a Aquarian Ranger, we can just eat it with the Suffocating Fume, but I don't think that's that great of a plan either. Alright, so now what happens is 
They have one, two, three walls, four walls, so they win the game here because they can untap this creature infinitely. We're not going to make them play it out. It's not really necessary. We want the Swirling Sandstorm. We want the Bring the Endings, the Anoint with Afflictions. And that may be a Hydroblast. Don't really want the Suffocating Fumes. Um, we're trying to speed run them, so Deep Analysis maybe is not where we want to be. The Surgeon to Insight is kind of crucial to our plan, though. <clears throat> Deep Analysis does draw a lot of cards, so maybe not having it, we will end up flooding. Let's. Oh, yeah. I'm so silly. we got to cut the weather storms for sure. So just bring back two Deep Analysis. Submit. And we would like to be on the play for sure. We have Sandstorm. We have Chalice into Augury. Keep. I think we go turn one, Woodlot. Turn two, uh, Woodlot into Chalice. Play Scary. They have a Lanoir. Find a Vivisurgeon's Insight, which is really nice. We're going to cast this. And here's the thing. Right now, we could cast the Augury, and next turn we untap with six mana. And could potentially do stuff. We're pretty far away from Sorley Sandstorm anyway, so I think that is the thing we need to do. Cast the Augury. Finding a Chalice or scary. So if we make our land drop, we probably just want to get the chalice because we can go play the chalice into river surgeons. Then we'll probably make a land drop. I misclick there for a second. Done. Okay. That's the turn. Six mana in play. So if we draw a land that's an untapped land, we can prologue into Vivid Surgeon. And it looks like we just need to cast this chalice into our uh, insight. Draw some cards. Done. Play the land. Pass the turn. So now we're looking to draw into a black source. Oh, we're at three cards. We need to poison them. We have a caretaker. Another caretaker. We play shield wall sentinel. So right now the thing we need to kill is the element and then let them play their okay, peat bog. So we can kill the, um, the x on the next turn. I think we just cast the prologue first to see what we can do. Find a contentious plan. So we can cast a contentious plan. Poison you a little bit. An inquiry. Let's deep analysis. And then double kick this chalice and pass the turn. So unfortunately we can't deal with anything if they have like haste. They have the haste creature right now plus the combo then we lose. If they don't we can easily wipe the board on our turn. Play Axeman Guardian so they have now three or one, two, three, four, five. So it's Tapsard five. They have a Grizzly. They're going pretty all in right now. Four mana. They activate the Grizzly and they whiff. They did not whiff. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, so the most important thing to do is try to resolve the sandstorm. We need to draw a lot of cards. Draw some cards. Pentad Prism will let us do it. Pentad Prism. Oops, not that one. Play this. Uh, cast this. Viva Surgeon's Insight. And you are super duper dead right now, my friend. You're not dead yet, but you're you are out of the running for this. So we're just gonna go red, cast Swirling Sandstorm. Goodbye to all your stuff. Uh, cast Deep Analysis. Draw some cards. Cast the Everflowing Chalice of Multi Kicker One. Ha <laughs> ha! We got him. We got him with the unexpected. <laughs> All right. I think we want two Swirling Sandstorms. Swirling Sandstorm was extremely good versus the red deck. Uh, we find Sandstorm in hand, Anoint with Affliction. I'm going to keep this, and then I'm going to play at the scary, Augury looking for a black source. Basically, that's going to be our plan. <clears throat> we 
find the black source. Land go. So we can augury looking for a land, and we can kill this battleman. Augury. Find Pentahead Prism or Hickory Woodlot. I think I want the Prism. We have another. Hmm. If I play the Woke, if I take the Hickory Woodlot right now, any order. This done. We can play land, pedal, murder this forever. Pass the turn. We're missing. So we've seen three of our red sources. We cast a winding way. If I oh basically nothing. That was really good for me. Play land. Pass the turn. They said, do you think the deck will get better with the next set because it is uh, a Phyrexia set and could potentially have a lot of Toxic and and Proliferate? And I said, I don't have no idea. Maybe. I guess if there's if there's better Proliferate draw spells. Okay, so our opponent has played an Axebane Guardian. And that means that we have to kill it. So we're going to go ahead and play this Chalice. And play Lotus Petal. And murder the uh, the living beep out of this uh, Activating Guardian. Pass turn. So we just two for one them. Although we did lose our mana source for this Swirling Sandstorm. Four mana for Shield Wall Sentinel. And they're going to get probably an Axebane Guardian. Okay, so we need another red source. Viv Surgeons. This will allow us to have four mana left over. One, two, three, U. Done. We find a Peat Bog. So that means that we can now pass the turn. Hmm. We need an Everflowing Chalice into play right now. Or we can end step uh, teachings for Anoint. I'll pass the turn. They play a rubble fort. Okay, that's bad for me. Teachings. We're going to get one, two, three. We can get the brain, the ending, actually, or the anoint. I'm taking the anoint here. Play the woodlot. I'm going to. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cast the insight. Let's cast the Everflowing Chalice first. One. Okay. Cast the Insight. Floating in black. Okay, we got a bunch of mana now. We st still have not really accomplished very much. Pentad Prism into play. Done. Play the Lotus Petal. Then I'm going to murder their... Well, actually, let's, let's think about this. Pass the turn. Cast a tinder wall. I bring the ending's not very good. Let's murder the rubble fort. Press OK. Pass the turn. Come on. Uh, actually, we can teachings for the prologue, right? And then kill their stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Teachings. Get the prologue. Cast the prologue here. Cast an experimental augury. We don't need the green. Grab another augury. You. We really needed to get some proliferation and some uh, poison counters down. And then we can cast another augury. Grabbing the pentad prism. Hmm. Teachings. You. Do, 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 do. Done. So now we have bring the ending if something crazy happens. Cast Sprawling Sandstorm. Your turn. <coughs> What's going to happen? We're pretty ahead, but we've lost a lot of our good spells. Sprawling Sandstorm is pretty <laughs> pretty good against walls. That is for sure. Okay, they're, they're scooping it up. We had the Sandstorm in our opener. That's what happens. You have a singleton, and you always draw it. See you in round five. 
Okay, round five versus Funda Paranu. I think they're a red deck wins player. <laughs> We're going to keep this. Um, the thing is, we don't really want to cast an early prologue. We could potentially cast a turn two um, Pentad. That's kind of medium. I'm going to get the scary out and uh, see what happens. I hope they're not on fairy, fairies. They are on affinity. So we're going to just jam this prologue. Now we can actually play out Pentad, but I don't know if that's the greatest plan. I've already I've already come this far. I'm going to play the Pentad Prism. Your turn. That's a turn. Now I want to just draw a card, I think, and play the Scary, and then the next turn play the Prologue, looking for some proliferation. We just need proliferation, and then we're good to go. Our Clan Shaman hits the table. It doesn't do anything. So we play the scary and we pass. Now it's their turn. They untap. Basically because we have Well of the Storm. All we have to do is kind of chain. Definitely going to just play the prologue off the island, I think. Maybe on their turn so that they can't uh, force me to use my lands. They're going to play out a Thought Cast so they don't have the Metallic Rebuke up. So we can play out the prologue. Hoping to find that proliferation. Ooh, okay. Play the prologue off the depletion. Play the peat bog. Pass the turn. Now we're in a scary position because we ran out of stuff to do. Suffocating Fumes does basically zilch here, and if they start dumping creatures down, we can't really afford to waste our lands. They're gonna um What's happening? They're deadly disputing? Okay. I don't know why that was at the time. It was a weird position to do that, so I was confused. We could weather the storm here for 15. I think that's not necessary. We find the infectious inquiry. Okay. So I'm just going to cast that. Vivis Surgeon. We have to pass the turn. They're going to hit it for 5, putting us to 11. Then they could have Blast Blast, and I would have to weather the storm. The question is now, do I want to waste the peat bog or the scary? And like, how am I going to cast the Vivid Surgeon's Insight? They attack for five. They play another Mirror Enforcer, so we're, we're close to that now. They're going to discard a land to draw a card. Storm is one. We need an Experimental Augury off the top, basically. Pentad Prism is decent, for sure. That'll make some of the mana up from wasting all these cards. We're going to Pentad. They done. One, two, five. We're going to cast the Insight. They're going to allow it. Done. And then we're going to Pentad Prism. Black. That's good there. We're going to cast a Infectious Inquiry. I guess we want to Chalice because we can get another uh, even though we're losing the Pentad Prism, we want the, the actual health <laughs> yield. We're still, like, very close to dead. Gotta have to pass the turn. They are going to Deadly Dispute here. All right. So post-board, we're probably just going to bring in some Hydro Blast, maybe Moments Piece. Moments Piece does buy you a lot of time. Like, I really like the four Moments Piece for Weather Storm against Affinity. They play an Icker Wellspring. We are at 18, and they have 9 power, so we're on a 2-turn clock, and that's without any Gal Blasts. So they have not played any, and they've drawn half their deck. Now they're playing an Icker Wellspring and drawing that. They have 1 mana open, so they could have a Metallic Rebuke once again. They did not have it before. It's certainly possible that they just aren't playing them. You don't really want to play this Woodlot right away. So let's Deep Analysis. Play Contentious Plan. And you, another deep analysis. Hmm. I think I have to just pass. So we're we're pretty close to dead. We, we're at nine, and they need three gal blasts to finish this off. <coughs> they play a gear seeker. Interesting. Deadly dispute. We're looking specifically for weather the storm or a big chain of 
uh, proliferation. Play Blood Fountain. They have three mana available, so they could deal us 12 uh, from just from Galblast alone. We can't necessarily afford to just blast off some deep analysis from the graveyard then. We may have to. We find the Weather of the Storm. Interesting. I'm going to play the deep analysis looking for prol proliferations. I do find it. Okay. Cast Experimental Augury. That's a free spell. Find a contentious plan. That's a free spell. You. One, 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 one. Done. Cast Contentious Plan. Due to eight. You. One, 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 one. Done. Cast a Lotus Petal. Play Woodlot. One, two, three. Or let's cast Deep Analysis. Now we can Weather the Storm twice. Okay, that's good. So we cast the Everflowing Chalice. Cast the multi cure one. And then we will Weather the Storm. If we cast another Chalice right now, we can Weather the Storm using the Lotus Petal. And then if they spawn, we can blow our Prisms to cast another Weather the Storm. Again, a ridiculous amount of life. So I think that is worth it. And then they're at 8 poison and almost dead. Weather. And they have to have triple Gal Blast right now to, to beat us. They don't. I mean, they just may just have nothing. Wow, okay. Did not expect. Okay, we're going to gain a bunch of life. And now I'm going to F6. That's the power of the weather of the storms. Like, it just buys you so much time. It's ridiculous. Very good card. They draw a card with a blood token, they play Reckoner's Bargain, sacrificing a blood fountain, because they know they don't have to recur anything, they just need to add to the board and try to get past all my life gain. They play blood fountain, we're just going to F6, we don't really care about anything right now. They have almost 20 power on the table, they have 14, 14 power on the table, not almost 20. So we're on less than a two turn block, and they still somehow did not have all three Galblasts in hand. So they must not be a, a true affinity player. <laughs> not a true affinity player. Okay, they jam in. Kabamo. We go to 16. They're holding nine cards in hand, so something bad happened to them. They must have flooded out or something. Okay, so the most they can deal us is 12 right now. So we're going to lead on deep analysis. That puts us to 13. Draw two cards. We get teachings. Grab the Augury, cast the Augury, teaching's looking pretty good, Augury's going to get us something else, an insight, take it, alright, you, and then we put some counters on all of our stuff, okay, done, play the land, we're going to now try to just cast the insight and see if they're dead, and they're dead. <laughs> Okay, let's go to game two. All right, we know that the fumes are not very really where we want to be. I like the swirling sandstorm potentially. It really clears the board. And do we want to bring in the hydroblast? So they're going to be bringing in um, some red things to stop us. So I think what I want to do is bringing in two hydros and one sandstorm because I'm cutting the chalice. Uh, it's thinking they're going to bring in Gorel Shaman. And then the Sandstorm can clear the board. Once they have a board, I can weather the storm for life. Kind of the same sort of semi the same plan as versus burn. We're just stalling, waving, going again. Uh, this plan seems pretty decent. We're going to we're gonna see if that works. All right, Fonda. All right, so what do we open? Very, 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 very slow. Uh, I'm gonna. I still feel like this is keepable. It's on the realm of keepable because we have a turn three deep analysis. We have the weather storm in hand. The insights are very weak here. Uh, we'll play the scary and pass. We can play the peat bog and then on turn two we can or turn three we can potentially cast a deep analysis, or we can just like keep playing on our lands. If they give us an opportunity. By tapping out on their turn three, we will just cast the insight. They're holding up Pyroblast. Nope, Girl Shaman. Okay. So we can just 
Kessis to Infectious Inquiry. We find the Augury. That is some pure luckiness. Find another Augury. Any order. You get a counter. Some counters over here. Done. Then we're going to discard one Deep Analysis. I knew they'd be bringing in the Shaman. So we don't have to play artifacts, and they cost them 5 mana to kill our Pentad Prism. It's not like the greatest play for them. And they are going to allow us to draw five, draw 3. Maybe it's not really where I want to be. What do I do? Do I draw 3? I mean, why wouldn't I? I'm going to discard some cards. 1, 2, 3, you. Done. I think I will discard... Insight and one weather. I'm expecting that they will um, hold up red pyroblast now. So that's why I'm going to do that. Let's see what they do. Are you going to tap out again, my friend? Or they cannot cast the angler yet. They cast a mirror enforcer. All right, so now it's our opportunity to potentially try to storm off here. We're going to go scary, lay out the prism. One. Two, done. Play scary. We're going to cast three, four, five. I think we just cast the inquiry first. We might draw into another prism. We did not. We can cast contentious plan. One, two, three, four, five. You, done. So we can augury now and then just cast a weather storm. We have another Augury on the top, so I'll take that over these cards. Put you to six. Done. And then here comes the big weather. For 15. That's the turn. Sometimes they think that I can get counters back on the Pentad Prism, and they end up killing it with the Grill Shaman anyway. Which has been kind of nice. And right now we have nine men in play from just our lands. So they're tapping off of red, so we can resolve the insight. All right, they're getting in. They're currently at six. So do we have enough? I think I'm going to cast the Augury, looking for... All right, well, we have a Chalice. Any order, you. I probably should have taken the Hickory Woodlot. Done. I do not think that's real. We actually just win here, so well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Prologue. Prologue. GG. <laughs> That was great. That was a great way at the end there. I was like, how do I work this to be... Never mind, I just win. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so what happened in this league? We beat Red. We beat Walls twice. We beat Affinity. And we lost 1-2 to two against Tron. Tron ended up having their mana online faster, and they simply had more counters than us. They just had like a million counters, and we, we stumbled. Not gonna lie. Um, I think that I'm really happy with the main deck. I think Swirling Sandstorm was a really good uh, sideboard option. Maybe we want some number of Swirling Sandstorm in the main deck. It just doesn't feel like it's the right play. But it does shore up the um, Walls matchup quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a terrible turn one or game one against them. So you have to decide... Uh, what are my, um, what are, okay, let's go over here, move this up. What are the flex slots that matter, right? So these are, it's basically the flex slots are these two suffocating fumes, and we're not really sure what to add there. What's going to keep us alive against the most of the meta, so that's going to be the meta call for you. I think that suffocating fumes is pretty good against Koldotha Rebirth, but obviously, like, regular burn type stuff, maybe not. And I don't think I have that much more to say. I really am having a lot of fun. I actually 4-1 twice in a row with this list. The, the previous round, I 4-1 four, I as well. So I'm going to keep pushing it. Maybe we'll see uh, this list up on the 5-0 <laughs> dump sometime. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, I do have the Patreon where I have the primer for this. And I also put out a sideword guide. For this specific list you see in this video, the sideboard guide, um, Moxfield has been where I've been putting a bunch of my lists, but it's somewhat in flux, so you may see them change as you go along. 
and uh, hope you had fun. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.